Judy Baker, Book Marketing Mentor. Welcome to day three of the 30-day Book Marketing Challenge. And I said I would talk about book covers, especially the back cover of your book. But before we do, let's take a look at some of the most outstanding book covers of the year. These were compiled by Print Magazine and they are stellar. You can go through, scroll through, take a look at some of these front covers, which if they don't get you enticed, I don't know what would. But I promised we would talk about back covers. The New York book editors have a great article about discovering what to put on the back of your book cover and what are the most critical elements. And I will include links to all of the websites that I'm talking about. The book cover is a way for you to connect with your audience and tell them what's the surprise inside the book. Jane Friedman, one of the most respected authorities in the, in the publishing world, has some great points about what to go on the back of your book. Now remember, you just have a small amount of real estate, about 250 words. And so this is a perfect example of what you might put on your bullet points and how you can structure the language so that people want to know more. Readsy has a template showing some very particular things. And if you take a look here, the tagline for your book, four testimonials. Man, that would be the best way to have created a book cover because those testimonials mean other people are endorsing your book and are saying it's worth the time and the money to read it. If you only have one really good testimonial, put it at the top, then tell some more information about what's inside. Here's another example where there's content here, a short bio, and a small picture. Your book cover is not about you. It's about your readers. Scribe Media has some awesome examples, and you can take a look at, well, this one I thought was very particularly good. It's a great front cover, and then here's her back cover. Notice the placement of the ISBN. That is gonna pretty much be consistent on every book cover. More from the Readsy blog about what goes on the back cover. Your tagline, a blurb, that is something that describes your book. Your author bio. And remember, you only have a short amount of time to get people's attention. Masterclass offers a whole course on writing your back cover. Your back cover is fabulous. It is an advertisement for what's inside. And Kindlepreneur, now you're going, Kindlepreneur, wait a minute. Aren't they talking about books that you read on your tablet, on a device? Well, the content of your back cover is something you want to craft. Synopsis, a blurb, reviews, your book description, and why someone should take the time to read your book. If you get just one fabulous endorsement, you could feature that. And take a look at these back covers. Now, I will tell you very honestly, I am not a fan of dark Covers. Okay, I want to show you some books I pulled off of my bookshelf. Own Your Own Niche by Stephanie Chandler. Her back cover, easy to read, easy to see what's here, and she used bullet list of what is inside the book. My good friend, the Grammar Diva, Fifty Shades of Grammar. So thanks for joining me for the 30 day challenge, day three. And tomorrow we're going to talk about how you can create video from still images. Meanwhile, 
Join me at bookmarketingmentor.com for more tools, tips, and resources you can use to get more bang for your book. And you'll also find the links to all of the articles I mentioned in today's video. Judy Baker, Book Marketing Mentor. See you tomorrow.